so next question w when it comes to neutron we understand that we will be seeing contracts after the hot fire test when the rocket is pretty close to flying it was mentioned a few times that neutron is a mega constellation builder and that customers will order multiple launches of neutron could you give us an idea how many launches a customer would order and why is it possible that you get orders to produce a mega constellation as a as an end-to-end -end supplier and then also get the launch as part of that contract and then if that is the case then you constantly have to replenish the the constellation and that would like book up a pretty big capacity of neutron for many many uh, years ahead so who is the ideal customer of neutron and and how mm. would they order yeah it was a bunch of questions in there i mean i, I guess I'll, yeah. I'll i'll start i'll start from the top it, it's like um you know, with with Electron, it, I kind of had to, to 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 raise capital out of you know VCs. You know, sell a bunch of launch to to show that there was a demand for the product. Um, and you know, it took us years to flush those those contracts out, um, those low value contracts out. We're just in a different different space and different league now. There's there's the reality is that if you try and sell a launch to anybody with a rocket that doesn't exist, hasn't proven itself, it's going to be cheap. And um, I, there's just there's there's no, no no fuzz on the demand, so to me it just makes no sense to to sell something cheap when you know the, there's no fuzz on the demand. I'd much rather turn up with a rocket that's working when there isn't in, when there is incredible demand, and and have kind of been able to at least price it at at, at what it's worth, um, if not even higher. So you know. Look, we'll, we'll sign a contract with anybody if they want to buy a full price rocket um, and under standard LSA conditions. Because there's a lot of a lot of kind of you know hype out there. Look, you can sign any MOU you want or any launch contract you want with zero money down, cancelable at any time, and and make a number in the books look good. Um, but it's it's not real. Um, and you know, for us, it's it's kind of it's kind of like a, a game of steering, because we need our customer. On Neutron to, to be there when the rocket's ready, and they need us to be there with the rocket when their satellite is ready. And kind of to your point, it's it's like, yep, there's lots of kind of onesie twosie kind of deals you can do, and that's that's fine. But you know, the majority of the conversations we're having are with folks who want to buy lots of launch, not ones or two launches, but lots of launch. So you know, it, it's it, it's it's a kind of a wait and see on both sides because we don't want to sign a big contract, make a commitment to a customer, bring the rocket to the pad, and then have all our eggs in that basket, and that customer's late. Um, we play this game with Electron all the time, right? Um, so so if you're going to make a commitment to somebody, you you you, you kind of have to keep it. Um, so you know, th there's that aspect. We need them to be there on time, and we also need to to, to be on time. So the best thing to do is, uh, is is just bring the vehicle to market. There's no sh no shortage of demand, and we'll make the best decisions for the business. Um, you know, at, at that time, and uh, we we can we can sign whatever you know multi multi year and, and multi launch contracts um, that we want. But kind of to the second part of your question, there there is really no ideal customer. I mean, well, it's not entirely true. I mean, a, a great customer is a customer that is. Incredibly predictable. It's great, large amounts of volume, and as you as you kind of alluded to, a continuous need for replenishment. That that's that that that's very predictable. Wall Street will love that. Um, but uh, but you know the the uh, Neutron is designed to serve more than just that kind of customer. Um, Neutron is designed to serve uh, you know government customers. I think you know um, most people will know that we we track the NSSL um, program very very closely. Um, and there's billions of dollars worth of launch um, in those various lanes, so that that's also a great, uh, you know, a great steady customer. A um, little little bit less um, likely to be on time, but but certainly you know a great uh, a great customer. So um, so really, you know, we're not we're not we're not augured in on on one particular vertical. It's really a vehicle that that can do a, do a lot of things. But I think the important takeaway there is is just hurry up and wait. Um, and don't don't do something that is you're going to regret in the future because you know I've I've had the the, the luxury or the the unfortunate um, you know pain of that in the, in the past. Yeah, yeah. I guess I appreciate it. This is the ultimate long term thinking because you you could come out with a with a BS contract as you said and really mm. pump up the stock and and there's no no point to, like on the long term. So re really. Well, 
you just destroy credibility at that point, right? I mean, yeah. when 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 it comes time to actually launch them, and oh, they were never launches, then you know you're a little bit silly. Yeah, you guys yeah. definitely have the financial framework and strength, um, you know, to to really wait out and and like you said, prove the the launch vehicle, and then people will be showing up at your door knocking, and if not banging down the wall, uh, I assume to to be able to line up for neutron. But yeah, and, and look, if I worry about a lot of things, but of all the things I worry about, neutron demand is just not one of them. Like it's it's just yeah. Uh, we just need to get that vehicle to the pad and uh, get it dialed in, and um, you know that that it, I'm more worried about how how we can scale that quickly to meet the market demand than I am about whether or not there's going to be customers there. Awesome, and and there we also really appreciated that you said on the conference call. I think it went unnoticed that you said that the delay was due to that you were not just trying to rush out an engine; you were trying to make it like very easily uh, producible and. And uh, so we, we really appreciate that. Yeah, I love that. You're thinking about the longevity. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, look, if 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 the if the goal here was just to make fire, then we we could have put a you know a, a billet copper chamber on the engine test cell, pressure fed it, lit it up, and make call it fire. Like you know that that wouldn't be a big deal. But I think you saw from from the images of that engine, that's a real engine. That that's not a that's not a you know it's science beautiful. project or a, yeah yeah. And it's 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 the real deal. So, um, uh, and, and I think, um, you know, Adam and I, we, 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 we joke, we joke often that, um, you know, we, we literally spend all our money on, on, you know, concrete steel and factories. Um, and li like you, you see, you see the rocket and everybody kind of focuses in on the rocket, but the, the rocket is really just a tiny element of the program. Like there's factories and engine test cells and, um, there's just there's just so much you know dirt moved and concrete in the ground to 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 even just get to you know building an engine and putting it on the stand that 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 bit is I think is is less understood and you know you, you can rush all that stuff and you know make no mistake we've definitely taken a minimum viable product for what we need there we're not you know gold plating factories we're just doing what we need to do um, but uh, there's just so much inertia behind all that stuff before you can even you know get an engine out the factory door yeah yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations on having it uh, on the test stand. And will you post uh, the, the hot fire test as it comes out? Or will we have to wait until the next earnings call to see images of that? It, it sounds like we need to post the engine from what I'm what I'm hearing there as, as we go through. Is that, am I reading that correctly? I know yes. I'd be watching it. Yeah, I know I'd be watching yeah. it for sure. Yeah. To, to be fair, we, to be fair, we often you just get get busy and get our heads down and and um, just get stuff done. And so so we'll 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 endeavour to share that a bit.